Hey, hello, and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, on the weekends, I, I set the DVR to record, like the Sunday morning news programs, and then I'll go back and I'll watch them either in the afternoon or in the evening. And lately, I cannot stand to watch the news anymore. It, it bothers me. I get aggressive myself. I get upset. I can't believe some of the things I'm hearing. It's really illogical. It is um, it's stupid in many ways. It's like the people they think anymore. It's all about them. It's not about anybody else. Uh, nobody is uh, right except them. Everybody else is wrong. And I started thinking about the last days, and the Bible talks about that and tells us different things that are going to happen during the last days. And, you know, this is all part of it. But the last days, you know, we could say, well, it's, I mean, God is coming back, you know, tomorrow or the next day. He can. Um, Jesus can come back at any time. But remember that the Bible also tells us that, you know, a, a year is like a thousand years to God. So it does. It, I can't say one. Nobody knows the time or the place. But he gives us signs to look, look up because our redemption draws nigh, he says. And over in Daniel 8.19... He, it says, uh, then he said, I am here to tell you what will happen later in, in the time of wrath. What have you seen? What you have seen pertains to the very end. Now, this was with Daniel having the vision of things that were going to happen. If you read the book of Daniel, it's in the Old Testament. It's very vivid. Um, but I also know that over in 2 Timothy, I was looking at 2 Timothy 3, uh, 1 through 4. And the first part, it just tells us that the last days of critical times are here. And they're going to and they're going to be here and it's going to be hard to deal with and we're in that right now and over in a uh, two through four it talks about during the last days human society would suffer a serious moral and spiritual breakdown really don't you think that that's happening today let me read this to you second timothy 3 1 through 4 but mark this there will be terrible times in the last days people be lovers of themselves lovers of money boastful proud abusive disobedient to their parents ungrateful unholy without love unforgiving slanderous without self-control brutal not lovers of the good treacherous rash conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god does that sound like today to you boy it sure does to me if i think back 50 years ago we've had problems but it was nothing like it is today we are in the last days. We are in the time that the Bible is telling us to look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Like I said, it could be tomorrow, could be tonight, could be five years from now, it could be ten years from now. I don't know. Nobody knows. But we have to be ready because he's given us these signs and letting us know. And one thing that he said when there was a parable of the persistent woman, as she was kept going back to the judge and trying to get restitution in that. And one thing that Jesus said in that, Luke 18.8, his question at the end is, will I find faith when I return? Because he's talking about how he's going to be just and how he is just. But will he find faith when he returns? And that's the question I have for you. Do you have faith? Do you still believe that Jesus is in control? Uh, that this world is in God's hands? We have to have faith in that. We have to believe in that. Like I said, I can't watch the news right now. It gets me upset. So I say, Lord, what can I do? All I can do is pray for these people. Pray that they get an understanding that the Lord takes the blinders off their eyes and, and, and in their, pops open their ears so they can hear the truth. And I pray that you would do the same thing too. I look forward to seeing you again for another Morning Cup of Inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me again today, and we'll see you again real soon. God bless you.